Hi guys, how are you doing today? Hope you are all well and safe and having a great day. Yesterday I did this portrait of the lovely Charlotte, my daughter. I painted it in Critter using the brand new free charcoal pencils. So let's just get straight into the drawing. So I'm in Critter and I'm going to do this portrait of Charlotte, my daughter, who's um, for me an amazingly strong lady. And uh, I think this portrait shows that because of the um, trials she has gone through with Killian and how she is coping with that amazingly. So charcoal drawing, I'm using the new charcoal brushes created by Ramon Miranda you can see them on the left there and these are the brushes that I um, I use in this uh, actual drawing I don't use them all I just use these listed below and I put the number 12 I think that means compressed comp compressed odd pastel I put that at the bottom because I don't use that too much but I did use it so I thought I would include that um in the list so those are the uh, brushes that i use let's uh just put that to one side now and continue with the drawing so tip number one um if you're working digitally like this take your source photo and put it alongside your uh canvas and make it exactly the same size the canvas i've got there is uh, the same size and ratio as the photograph and by putting them alongside it's really easy to judge uh, the actual positioning of your stroke so i'm going in with the pencil outline obviously to start with i'm using the draw detail brush but i can use the photo to measure quite accurately um, where shapes are going and and uh, for example the shoulder line i can sort of eye across um, and every so often you'll see the little pointer uh, go over to the photograph where i sort of try and use it to line up i could have put i could have imported the same photo in again and put it along the vertical so i could have got all of the vertical lines in um in the the right place as well but i didn't i just felt that uh, by getting the uh, being able to measure the horizontal position of all the lines um that was enough although i do make one massive mistake in a, a little while which i will explain to you when i get to it so this is going to be a massively long video so i just want to um zoom through some of the uh, pencil drawing to get to uh, some of the shading because I'm just measuring off there and um, doing just getting the basic shapes in So I kind of got distracted here with the face. I thought I wanted to put that in um, just to make sure I'd got the proportions of the face right before I continued with the rest of the body. And then I started to, I think, mm, it looks a bit fat. I need to put in a little bit of blending just for my own confidence, really. And that's what I'm doing here. And I'm using the Willow Block 
grainy brush, which uh, I thought was great for the um, for the initial uh, blending strokes or shading that goes in there. And um, eraser, I think I, I, I tried the um, sort of soft putty eraser, which is called the uh, eraser soft and the uh, hard eraser, which is called the eraser blend. And the eraser blend was the one that uh, I really liked. So that was the one that I was, I was using most of, of. So you can see here, I'm kind of um, going away from the initial. I've still not got all of the drawing in, but I'm starting to put some of the shading in. And that's really uh, for, for my confidence because I haven't done a portrait in quite a long while, to be honest and um, I just wanted to get that in so let's just um, speed it up again for uh, while I continue and finish this line work <laughs> Right, I made a massive mistake here. You see I'm drawing in the end and I'm making it uh, fit exactly to the photo. Well, what I didn't realize was that the actual photo isn't all on the screen and the tips of her fingers are missing. And I should have known this because when I um, cut, cropped the, photo, the original photo, I took great care into uh, cropping it to a nice composition with both the hands full in shot uh, so i've sort of elongated her arm and made it really long and um put the fingers uh chopped off which was a huge mistake which i have to rectify a little bit later on uh, i don't know I, I didn't spot that really so i'm still using that um draw detail brush it's the only brush i use for the drawing and the uh, willow block greeny is what I did that little bit of shading in. So I do struggle with that hand and I'm thinking mm, it's not right and I'm sort of rubbing it out. I can't weigh up what's wrong, uh, but I do a little bit later on. Notice I turned the photograph to black and white as well because I knew this was going to be a black and white um, drawing. So I thought let's make it a little bit easier for myself and convert that photo to black and white. And that way I've got all my lights and dark tones uh, in there. And I don't have to worry about sort of working out what they are. I can see at a glance exactly um, what's going off. So still just using that um, willow block grainy brush to begin with the shading. I do want some much darker darks uh, in it though. So I will be uh, changing that up a little bit uh, soon enough. And I'm, I'm sort of concentrating now on the body because I'm quite happy with where the face is at. And I can confidently go in with those um, charcoal blocks, I guess, to uh, start shading in. Uh, I should say that um, doing a portrait is a great thing to be doing uh, during a lockdown when you can't actually see um, your family and friends. Although I do see Charlotte in the lockdown because uh, Killy, uh, son, you, if you've been following the channel for a while, you'll know all about Killian, uh, Killian Phoenix. And his name's Phoenix because he was, uh, in Charlotte's eyes, came out of the flames, <laughs> resurrected, 
um, because he was premature uh, birth and we nearly lost him. But he, uh, he's uh, alive and well, uh, glad to say, although he is in a wheelchair, uh, he's three years old now and he's got, um, what's that? I can't think what it's called. He's got he's got a lot of problems anyway. Anyway, that's why I think Charlotte's so strong looking after him. Anyway, I digress. Uh, the, the, so the reason I go and see her is because I am part of a support uh, team that helps out look after him. Uh, I don't do a lot, but I do go over and help uh, sometimes when I can, and uh, so I do get to see him. But if you don't get to see somebody sort of went off the track a bit there if you uh, don't get to see somebody and you're missing them have a go at doing the portrait because it kind of brings you closer together again um which is really nice i'm just using that to oops smash me watch on the ed edge of the table there um i'm still using that one um willow block grainy you could do a reasonable job couldn't you with just using those and nothing else really uh it, it is very versatile but i do want to I, I do want to use more because there's um a lot of brushes in here which are really exciting and i could have tried using more of the blenders and things especially on the face but i i, I like to keep things at a fair minimum oh Notice on the right hand side all of the layers in the layer stack that's part of the um, texture the smart texture that comes with the pastels that you can get free by the way uh, so the, the charcoal pencils I mean these are free pencils so I will put a link in the description to uh, show you where you can get those from and um, basically you just open up this textured paper just like any critter file i've saved it as a template so i can use it over and over again uh, really uh, get access to it easy and just start drawing on the top layer so dead easy to use and i'm just sort of going in thinking about now the uh, shape of that sleeve and i want to kind of get the creases in the sleeve I think when you do things like that, when you take time to um, create creases and things, it just adds so much more to the uh, to your to your work, whether it's a painting or a drawing or whatever. And notice I'm leaving the air quite light at this point. I really want to to get this sort of backlighting. That's a, a, a big feature of the drawing for me that I want to uh, try and capture. Now I've changed over to the um, Comp Block BG brush. And I don't know what the BG stands for, but you get this real soft edge if you uh, I've decided to step back a little bit. You get this soft edge at the, the tips and put light pressure on. You get a nice light stroke, but just this, up the pressure a little bit and you get this really solid black, which is fantastic. So I would quite happily have um, done the old drawing with just the detail brush, that block grainy brush and the brush that I'm using now, the block BG brush, uh, although... Uh, I guess I do need the blenders on the face when I come to do the face. So uh, again, I'm going to have to speed it up a little bit. Otherwise, this is going to be really, really long. So here we go.
This is where I realised the error about the hand and decided to put it right. Right, so now I'm working on the face and uh, first of all I want to say that I'm using the reference image that's um, on the screen that you can see and it really is clunky the reference image module in Critter is one of the most awkward tools that I've used because to use it you have to select the reference tool image then you've got to go into tools uh, import it and then when you want to resize it you have to select the reference tool I don't suppose it's a big deal and you can drag it out but what or drag it along so I can put it side by side where it is there now but the other issue is that you can't zoom in you can't zoom in on your reference image and even if they just added that that would be great because you can't get to that detail unless you start resizing the reference image on the screen and if you do then you can't see the area that you want to paint on so uh, because you're zooming in the all of the reference image where uh, you know if you sort of drag it and resize it it becomes so big that you've got no room left to do like look at that I'm working right in the corner of the screen there which is quite awkward so what I did do in the end I decided to um, put my reference image on my main monitor as well because I've got two monitors this one this drawing I actually use the Cintiq as a Cintiq because I, I knew I'd be wanting to get in some fine detail so I was actually drawing on the Cintiq not using it as like um, a touch sensitive tablet um, where I'm drawing on the opposite screen so the main screen I use for the reference image where I could zoom in on the eyes and mouth and that's um, the um, the way I got round it but it would have been really awkward otherwise now if you look at that reference uh, at the minute you can see there's a lot or sorry look at the canvas at the minute there's lots of things wrong with Charlotte's like the uh, left eye the right eye looks a lot lower than the um, right one and uh, you know there's lots of things wrong if you look at the mouth the mouth looks like it's been cut out and stuck on that's because I've got a sort of a darker color all the way around the mouth if you take uh, if you look at the reference image really close there'll be areas where the skin tone blends seamlessly into the lips and you want to look at those close and just soften off those edges so that the lips become part of the skin you don't want them stuck on and all of those things I've got to do yet uh, to get this right and obviously I've got to work on the eyes there they're way wrong and um, generally just keep working at it the nose isn't quite right I want some darker tones in the nostrils and all of those things I know are wrong and it looks um, it doesn't look anything like Charlotte but hopefully don't don't switch off yet and say oh, it doesn't look like it it's rubbish stick with it because it's like chiseling away at a bit of stone where you just keep working at it and working at it and working at one little area and it's the same when you do your own portraits if you're working on one little area at a time you will get there you will so uh, i'm just going to speed this up because this as you can imagine uh, is quite a long slow painstaking process to get to the lightness that I'm after.
So there we are, that's uh, the face nearly completed. And I just want to take that uh, eraser, that's the uh, hard eraser, and just put in a few strands of air. And you can see, you've got to try and get them in in a quick stroke. You don't want them wobbly. You need to just sort of get them in really quick. Just put a few whisks, whisks of air in there. And you can see there, uh, just gives the impression that the wind's catching her air a little bit and it's a bit uh, tussled up and, and um, made a little bit untidy by the wind. Really pleased with how this portrait came out. Uh, I looked at it the um, day after uh, that I'd finished it. Uh, so th this is the uh, second day or the day after that I actually did this sketch. I'm obviously doing the voiceover after. And as soon as I saw it this morning, I um, realized that the glasses aren't parallel like if you look at the glasses in the, in the sketch they um they're perfectly horizontal but in the photo they're slightly tilted i don't know how i missed that yesterday it's just that you look so hard so i did tweak that this morning and in the final photo you will see uh, uh, a slight difference and also i start i'm looking at it now and i'm thinking I've got this sort of really soft background, but it's a bit messy and it just looks like Charlotte's sat on top. Oh, I did notice that I needed to um, push that hairline up a little bit so you could see a tiny little bit of a forehead. Yeah, anyway, as I was saying, the background's sort of a little bit messy and a bit distracting and I want to uh, address that in a little while. Oh, I've got this halo going all around it. And it just looks to me as, I, as I'm looking at it that um, she is almost cut out and stuck on that background. Uh, and it doesn't all tie together quite well enough for me. Now, you'll notice there I've changed the opacity I'm using that um, really nice soft grainy uh, pastel and I've knocked the opacity down just to put some really subtle shadows on the face just to finish it off you can see them going in now and I quite like that the, the first I actually saved the image as this uh, pretty much where we're at now uh, after I'd signed it and I wanted to um, put that on Facebook but I didn't and I worked on it some more but unfortunately I didn't record it and as I said I felt that um, background just didn't look part uh, or Charlotte didn't look part of the background so what I've done as you can see I've made the background a lot darker and almost lost parts of the arms where they just merge into the background and I made the hands uh, darker as well and the reason I did that I wanted you to look at the face not the hands so that's why I sort of although on the photograph the hands are really really light I uh, put a little bit of a shadow on them on the uh, final piece just so that you um wouldn't be distracted by the hands and not look at the face so that's it that is my portrait of charlotte if you stuck with me to the end uh thanks a lot uh, i really hope you've enjoyed the video if you have a big thumbs up as always is much appreciated and if you're new to the channel please consider subscribing because i've got lots of videos like this and i would love to be sharing them all with you so don't forget everybody Stay safe, stay sane, um, keep painting and hopefully 
I will see you all in the next one. Bye.